Yes, I am Ash, and I pledge to the Pokemon of the world, Pokemon Master, that is what I'll be. Yeah, he said something like that in the first episode. <laughs> anyway, this is my Ash run of Pokemon Leaf Green version, and yes, I have already started. Just to get the boring stuff out of the way, and because a friend of mine just brought up the idea of recording this. So yeah, I had to start them er, recording it a bit late, but um, you didn't miss anything. I just got the team together. So first up we've got Ash's star player Pikachu. And yeah, you wouldn't want to watch me hunting around for half an hour in the Viridian Forest to catch that. Got him up to level 9 with the moves Thundershot, Growl, Tail Whip, and Thunder Wave. Then we've got Butterfree. Got him all evolved and stuff. At level 11 with Confusion, Tackle, Harden and String Shot. <coughs> then we've got all three starters. The starter I have on this file is Bulbasaur. Got him to level 12 with Tackle, Leech Seed, Fine Whip, and Growl. Then we've got Charmander at level 11 with Ember, Scratch, and Growl. I traded him over from another file. And, Bul and Squirtle from another file too. At level 12 with Bulb Bubble. Tackle, Tail Whip, and Withdraw. And finally we've got Pidgey with Gust, Tackle, and Sand Attack at level 12. And yeah, it's a Pidgey because you can't catch Pidgeotto in this game. At least not until, I don't know, Route 21 or something. So yeah, I had to catch him as a Pidgey. And, yeah, that's that. So, that brings us to where we are now. Heading over to Route 22 for the second battle with the rival. Now, wow. Um, yeah. I named the hero Red because that's who he is. And the hero is green because that's who he is. They aren't Ash and Gary in the game. So yeah, that's why I named him that way. <laughs> and yeah, since um, in the show, Ash only has Pikachu at this point, so I'm only going to use Pikachu in this battle. So here we go. <laughs> Epic rival music. Mm. <coughs> okay, so he starts off with Pidgey, so that's going to be pretty easy with Pikachu. Oh, it's going to take two hits. Aww. Uh -huh. no. Yeah, that was pretty quick. <laughs> and now for the battle against his starter Pokemon, Charmander. Um, I think in the anime he has a Squirtle because he had a Blastoise in the Johto League, whatever it's called. Uh, I gave him Charmander because that's what Green has in the Pokemon Special Manga. 
And yeah, I like that better than the anime, so... Yeah. That's what I like yesterday. Uh, what did Charlie uh, uh, get paralyzed by? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> anyway, I have... Okay, Thundershock. Uh... Yeah, I've been having a lot of luck with paralysis, it seems like. Or maybe it's just because I've been battling with Pikachu a lot to get its level up. I don't know why, but... Thundershock and Static have been paralyzing Pokemon like every two or three battles, almost. And yeah, there's the second rival battle. The first one was at the Professor Oak's lab when you first get your starter Pokemon. And now we're going to head to Peter City to face Brock. Well, you know, what's funny mm. is, you know, they canceled it last year because they said they had to fix the... Sorry, I'm going to play here. I don't think they would fix it. So I'm going to fix it. Let's see if it's better. <coughs> yeah, not much to say right now. We're just walking through Verdian Forest. And I've already beaten the trainers. So, it'll just be more boring battles anyway. Uh, um, let's switch to Charmander here just to sweep any bugs that come across our way. Speak of the devil. Uh, now, since I got Charmander in a trade, it might not listen to me. It listened to me there. <laughs> but yeah, I have leveled the other two starters up on this game a bit. And yeah, since I got them in trades, and I don't have the Boulder Badge yet, they don't always listen. Uh, yep, there. It did not listen to me. But oh well, it's going to take a lot of that for a Caterpie to beat him. And I've got potions anyway. I think. <coughs> yeah, for those um Yeah, for those who don't know, traded Pokemon only listen to you when you have a certain number of badges. The gym leaders tell you what level of Pokemon will listen to you. And, uh, yeah, that's what that is about if you were always wondering why Misty or whoever would always say, with the Cascade badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to you, or whatever. Yeah, your own Pokemon will always listen to you. I think. Oh, wow. Another Pikachu right there. After searching for like 20 minutes for one, it just shows up just now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's another thing they do. Uh, um, traded Pokemon. Sometimes they won't listen to you at all, and sometimes they'll just use another move.